Hello there, I'm Scout, and today I wanted to talk about my problem. And my problem is Twisted Wonderland. Um, I have been severely obsessed with this game since it came out uh, in English this year. Uh, I have been wanting to play it since it came out in Japanese, but I didn't want to have to try to translate as I'm playing and kind of like ruin the experience for me. So, you know, uh, forgive me, I've been playing on the English server instead. Um, but it has completely taken over my life since then. Uh, I kind of knew it would, but here we are. Um, honestly, my main reason for like really wanting to get into it is Ruggy himself. Uh, his his character was just like immediately someone I loved. Like I love Lion King. I love the hyenas. I love hyenas in general, and his personality is so much of mine as a, like a match. It, it was just like oh, he's he's perfect, and I love him. It, everything about him is perfect. And then since I've been playing, I've just fallen in love with all of the characters completely. They're just they're all wonderful for their own reasons. Um, all the boys are good boys. We don't hate any of the boys in this house, but. Uh, you know, it, it's this is this is my obsession, and I am a uh, I'm a merch hound. So I have been spending a lot of money on merch, and I want to review some today. Uh, I know a lot of people like to like show off their merch in videos, but no one really like takes the time to like talk about it. So I would like to do that, and hopefully you'll find that interesting. If not, uh, oh well, enjoy the ride anyways. So first off, um, I'm gonna talk about bags, bags and purses. Um, I have never been the kind of gal to use a purse. It has been pockets or die. But because cell phones are so big nowadays, and then I, I, the older I get, the more keys I acquire, and my key ring is just getting to be a little excessive these days too. So I, I just said, screw it. I'm tired of this. I'm just going to get a freaking purse. So of course, naturally, I had to I had to go with a Twisted Wonderland pur purse. We can't go normal with things at all. At, we just don't do that. So the first one is the Premium Bandai uh, Savannah Claw. And I, I am absolutely biased against Savannah Claw. So you're, you're on Savannah Claw. So you'll see most of my most of my anything is all going to be Savannah Claw or Ruggy. Um, but uh, overall, it's super cute. I love this bag. Uh, I love the details on it. Uh, it's a very nice, simple, full leather bag. Um, it does have a uh, shoulder strap as well. Uh, I'm not super fond of it with the way it attaches. I'll show you in a moment. Um, but uh, it's not its not the best bag to use for every day. It's definitely cute, but it's not very utility. So it does have a back pocket, um, but this full leather material is like really, st like really stiff. I'm sure you can hear it creaking. Um, so you can fit your phone in this back pocket and that's kind of it. Uh, not too much else. The latch is also a little bit of a problem to use because it's under here and you have to get under and hit the button and slide it. So I don't particularly care for that. Um, the shoulder strap goes through the bottom of the purse flap and it's it's okay, but it's not the best. I, I don't particularly care for that bit of innovation. Um, so And of course that is in here currently. Um, but. It has, it's spacious, which is nice. It has enough space to hold anything and everything you need. Um, the only problem is all the pockets, like this is decent for my sunglasses. This pocket is useless. It is so stiff, it does nothing. Uh, even this one in the back is super, super stiff and you, you, you fit nothing in it. So I don't really know what they were going for with the premium Bandai, because uh, even I think retail, these were like $150, $200. So, like, I would have hated to pay full price for this and been this disappointed. Um, but overall, it's like 10 out of 10 for cuteness, but like 2 out of 10 for functionality if you really want to carry anything with you. So, the next one I had bought, um, I wanted in Savannah Claw, but of course, it had sold out before I had the chance to get it because a lot of sellers, like on eBay, from Japan like to also sell on other websites. So if you're not careful, oh well, it's sold out and you're screwed. So I managed to find the uh, handkerchief store heart sled bull bag. Um, and this is, honestly, this is like the perfect bag for all the time. I love this thing. The size is just right. Um, the satiny material is kind of a downer because like it can snag pretty easy, but uh, it is overall super cute and it's the best one with pockets. 
So it does have a back pocket, which is flexible, and you can put things in it. Uh, again, usually that one's for my phone. Um, the magnetic clasp on the front is a lot easier to use, which I like. I love the detail with everybody's groovy candy and symbols on the inside. Super cute. And then, of course, I love that this front, this front embroidery, first of all, is absolutely gorgeous. I adore that. But also a front pocket, um, and it's also spacious. It can hold, it can hold my phone. I use it for my notepad and pen. But easy to access. Love it. Uh, the inside also fantastic. Nice and spacious for everything. Um, two large but functional pockets. So it actually holds everything, and I can keep a lot of my things separate, which I really like. Um, but absolutely, like, this is hands down the perfect bag for me. I love everything about it. Uh, I'm still on the hunt for a Savannah Claw one, so we'll see if I can find that eventually without, you know, getting totally reamed on the price. But for now, hearts of all it is. Um, I did also end up getting the uh, Ruggy Lip Balm. Uh, and Savannah Claws are all uh, lemon flavor. And it's not the best lip balm. I have other brands that I use that I prefer much more. Uh, I was kind of hoping that I could like just use this and put mine in it, uh, but that's not the case. It's a little bit bigger. It's more like a lipstick size as opposed to, you know, a regular chapstick. So we'll see if I can repurpose it. If not, oh well, it looks cute for now anyways. Um, I also went with a hand sanitizer because I can refill it when it's done, which is, you know, fantastic. Uh, and also, it, you know, it's cool as hell. So, of course, I went with uh, Ville for that one because I thought he would be appropriate for that. And all of Pomfiore's smells like candy apple. And let me tell you, this is like the perfect candy apple scent. It's it's light. It's not just it's not too much. It's just enough and it lasts just enough. So you're like, yeah, cool. I can enjoy this and not hate it five minutes later. So bonus points to them for that. So my current bag uh, because, you know, I have problems and I can't stop. So my current handbag is the uh, Samantha Thavasa Savannah Claw. And uh, I probably paid way too much for this, but, like, looks-wise, this is more of what I wanted. So this is what I went with. Uh, I don't mind paying for something if it's exactly what I want. Um, Functionality-wise, I don't like it as much as the handkerchief store one. But looks-wise, 20 out of 10. Love it. Uh, I absolutely love everything about it. Um, I do like that you have the I, I wish the handles were removable because, like, I don't use these at all. Um, I'm definitely a shoulder strap or, or, or nothing. But I do love the way it looks. Like, the emblem is so cute on the front with the ribbon. I love that that's a like, running theme that they go. Ruggy, thank you. Um, and I put my Ruggy charm on the front as everything is covering it. Good job, kids. Um... <laughs> But uh, I had bought this actually a couple years ago, and I didn't have anywhere to put it. So finally, I do, and I love that it's got like the little coffin with his symbol on it and his name on the ribbon, and like a souped-up detail groovy candy. That's just like such a nice. It's just so pretty. I love this thing. Um, inside, uh, again, nice and spacious. Everything fits. Uh, it has a little back pocket. Uh, that I also like, have notepad and pen in. Um, so everything is not as separated as I like, but it's still nice. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll dive into this one because I actually have active use things in here. So of, co <laughs> of course, um, I found this little notepad like super cheap, so I kind of couldn't say no to it. Um, just because it, it's cute. And it, you, can, I, I, you can never not have enough notepads or anything on it. So Pump Fury it was, but like perfect size for my bag. Love it. And, of course, a matching yellow pen. And the pen itself is actually, it's not Twist, it's uh, B-Stars. It's Louis. And I really just got it because, you know, I, I like the colors. I like the details. Uh, I love that it's got little flowers on the inside. Super cute. Uh, this is unironically one of the best pens I've ever owned. It writes so smoothly and so nicely. Like, I, next time I'm buying things, I probably should get another one just so... I have, like, a backup perfect pen. <laughs> um, and I did get this Ruggy pen charm uh, before I got the pen, actually. And I love that it's just, you know, uh, it's on, like, a rubber silicone tie. And you can put it on however you want. Like, you could attach it to this bit if you wanted or just, you know, on 
the pen itself like this. It's just such a nice little touch and it makes it makes me feel so much more like fancy and professional than I am. But it's another one of those things, it makes me smile. I do everything to make myself happy at this point because otherwise it just isn't worth it if it's not like absolutely making me happy. So that's, you know, it's a nice touch. Um, of course, the Ruggy uh, face pouch. Um, this was kind of an impulse purchase uh, because it is super cute. But it is like the perfect size to fit in my bag and hold all my miscellaneous bits. Um, it does have like a little keyring bit here if you wanted to put it on something. Um, but I like just having it floating in my purse. Uh, again, it's very spacious. I keep pain pills, like nail file. I have clippers and things in here. Like everything. Anything and everything you could need fits in this little bad boy. Um, which, again, I love. It just makes my life so much easier. So that is big purchase. Love it. Uh, another fantastic impulse purchase <laughs> is, oh yes, band-aids. It is Twisted Wonderland band-aids because I have problems. But they're super cute because they have all of the dorms on them. And uh, again, it, it's something I can reuse. So I I'm big on being able to reuse things. And of course, if it's cute, that's a bonus point. And I do, I started keeping a compact mirror on hand because I, I get like renegade eyelashes and things a lot. And it's just good to have a mirror on hand for anything and everything anyways. But of course, um, beauty type items, I, I just automatically gravitate to Pomfiore because why not? Um, so this is really nice, actually. It's, it's like a faux leather. Um, it looked like it was harder, but it's not. It's like a soft faux leather detail. So weird, but I love it. And awesomely, it is dual mirrors, so you have like your normal reflection, and then a uh, two times magnification, which is fantastic for when you do have a stuck eyelash or something. So, uh, you know, tiny wins on random buys. I cannot say that that's like, not the best thing in the universe. Um, so I did also get a reusable bag for when I go shopping for others, like especially if I go to like Aldi with no bags. Um, this is just called, like, the Twisted Wonderland Eco Bag. I love it. It's hands down one of my favorite reusable bags, especially because it folds into this nice little self-contained pouch. Uh, it has a clip if you want to be able to put it on something else to use. You can, if you want to take it with you on your book bag or just throw it in your car, whatever. It's perfect. Um, I ended up going with the Scarabia, and it's got this awesome cobra detail. Um, they all have the same pattern, like, on the bag itself. It's just colored per dorm, but it's it's literally like the perfect size. It hold it's it's just it, it it could seem to be a little bit taller honestly, but it does hold absolutely everything I need and then some and it's very hardy. The material it's it's like kind of a soft silky, but it's strong. I have had like I think four four or five cans of something in here and then a bunch of boxes. And it's just, you know, you'd never know that I was brutally wearing this thing the other day. So, big points to that. Like, that is hands down an excellent purchase. And half of these are all impulse purchases because I just, like, scroll through hundreds of pages of merch. And I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. I suppose that's something I could use. Why not? And then I do. But the fact that I can use it is a big bonus. So, I had also been looking for a... Um, shower bag, or I, I can't think of the travel bag, a dop kit for while I'm I'm traveling. And I found this at the right price, and of course it is the right dorm. So this is definitely one of my favorite ones. It's a little big. I usually prefer to be a little bit smaller, but if I'm gonna like travel, travel, this fits everything. Absolutely everything. And it's super cute, of course. So it is a hanging bag, so it's got like a little hook here so you can hang it up. But again, with the dorm dorm boys motifs with their coffins, um, it has pockets everywhere. So there's this mesh pocket up here. This is also a pocket, which uh, also shamelessly has yet another Pomfiore compact. Um, I thought, you know, I, I've been liking the other ones, so I might as well grab another, especially for travel. Uh, if I don't, you know, have my bag on hand, I, I will have this uh, while traveling. And again, it is a 1x and 2x 
mirror. Absolutely fantastic. Love it. And for something that costs less than $10 on, on that, like, big bonus on there. Uh, the front pouch uh, mesh for anything and everything else miscellaneous. And then the main pouch holds basically everything you need for the bathroom. You know, I, I got I got soap holder, I got shampoo containers, Q-tips, tiny brush, everything. Love it. And when I can get a win on pricing, too, heck yeah, that's where it's at. So those are like my big main bags that I use um, or don't use in the case of the P-Band eye. But I do have a bunch of pouches. I, I just kind of went like hog wild. And I was like, well, I could use some pouches for like my art stuff, especially while I'm like at work or if I'm traveling. I get stuck in waiting rooms a lot, you know, helping parents out and things. Um, so I do embroidery and these have been like the perfect size to hold all of my, all of my thread, scissors, embroidery hoops, everything. So this is actually, um, I just called like the candy bag. It's a gashapon item, surprisingly. Um, I went with Diasomnia because sewing, why not? Um, but the little like charm hanging off is super cute, uh, plastic. And I love that it has like the dragons and the mirrors for the dorm in it. Um, everybody's has different, you know, uh, details with it. Like Savannah Claus ends up being a little boring with just like patterns, so this is definitely one of the more interesting ones too. But it fits my tiny hoops in perfectly. And I also have yet another pouch, uh, but I keep this one in my pocket at work, so that way I have all my threads and things, and it does not get tossed with the laundry at the end of the night, because I've already lost a couple things, like I think at least two pairs of scissors and one spool of thread. I ain't doing that again. So, lifesaver, hands easy. Love it. Um, I also did get this one to hold the main bulk of my bigger hoops for when I'm at work. Um, it's it's so cute. I love it. Again, with that like faux leather uh, detailing. And it's like the perfect size. Like, it's too big for a regular pen bag, but it is perfect to hold big embroidery hoops. So just the right size for that. Um, it, even, it even has an inner pocket. I love that Japan is like, you know what? This needs pockets. You're correct, it does. It absolutely does. But it can hold all my main stuff in there, and then everything else in the little pocket. It's This has been such a lifesaver with bringing my work to work. Because uh, unfortunately my break times are when I have time. I love it. I love it. And again, like this is like, what, a $5 item? So it's a big win there too. And then one of my more odd kind of impulse purchases was... um the SIPO bag. So I just wanted to kind of like, again, streamline what I'm keeping with me at work. Um, this one I had gotten Diasomnia because that's what they had available at the time, so that's what I went with. But I love that it can hold wet wipes inside of it. So it even, it's got like this little, little pouch on the inside that unzips and you can load them in there and then, you know, pull them from the front. Um, the only problem is it doesn't seal the best, so they don't really stay like too wet. So I, I do have to like, add water here and there to it, but for such a useful item, I don't care. Whatever, it's it's worth it. Um, and then it holds everything else that I could possibly need for work. Again, pain meds, pain meds all the time, everywhere. Uh, I have a very physical job and I die, so I gotta I gotta keep it all where I need it. So I've got you know that I've I've got that I've got moisturizer should you need it's all there and I also my one twist non-twist item for the day um, was a super cute Moomin Gashapon hand mirror it's a little tiny little tiny one but it's handy um, it's not any uh, zoomed in reflection so it's not like a 2x or anything it's just a 1x but it's nice to have so when you don't think you do you have it and you're all set to go and today I think I'm going to do a couple of like little bonus items um, because I just kind of started getting them because they're cute. And then I was just like, well shit, now they're actually useful so I might as well go ahead and get a couple more. So I started with this ab unbelievably adorable rubber clip of Ruggy. Uh, I love it. I, I put it, I, um, I have a loft bed that so has railings on the side. So I have him clipped to my bed so that he can hold my cords um, throughout the day when I need. But like these are just so adorable. I love it. They have they have all the boys 
So whoever your favorite boy is, they got him, uh, including Crowley and, and Grimm. Not the other faculty, though, just there's those, because, you know, I guess they're not as important. But um, I, I love it. It's a really nice, handy little clip to have. And not a lot of metal on it, which is nice also. So it's, you know, not going to destroy things, depending on what you're putting it on. But that was just... One of those you absolutely can't say no to, because it's just way too cute. Um, I also ended up getting uh, a Vill and an ortho one because they were super cheap these are like a dollar fifty with the conversion rate um it's kind of cool because they have like a little pin on the back so if you want to use it as a pin you can but um i've been using them as like snack bag clips or if anything else that i need suddenly like case in point but um not just that they were so cheap but i was a little worried that like oh they're so cheap well, what if no one else loves them so i I, I bought them so I can love them. Um, the one I didn't get like super cheap was Idia with his, his, his snacks because it's just, this is too adorable. I love this one so much. Uh, and it has a little bit more of a clip on it as opposed to the others. So it's a little bit more useful. But I thought like, if I'm using these for snack bags, <laughs> Idia is the one to use for it. Um, he was just, he was made for it. He's perfect. So um, I think I'll end it with that for today. Uh, I'll definitely do another one and go through some other like merch types since I've I, I've got like merch just for fun like things just that can sit here and I can enjoy and then of course like my utility items uh, that are actually useful so I will definitely be making another one so stay tuned thank you for joining me and and Ruggie in this one we appreciate it and we will see you later bye bye